welcome back to my channel welcome to another haul video this is my car boot haul from yesterday morning today is monday the 8th of november so this is from sunday the 7th i only went to one car boot went to easter compton car boot so with lex um i've met up with josh while we're there and this is my haul so I'm going to start with this because then I can fold it and put it in the back and bottom of the bag and put the breakables in on top. This was £3 and it is a Yours Clothing duffel coat. It's a size 22 to 24 I think or was it an 18? It's an 18, I don't know why I thought it was 22 to 24. It has a zip as well as the toggles which I think is a nice touch because it means you don't have to faff about doing your toggles up and it's hooded. I need to get this one listed quite soon because obviously that's a winter coat and now is the time to list that. So that was £3. This was... I think this was a pound. It might have been two. I think it was two. Now Josh bought a set of these in Clevedon when we went charity shopping last year and I thought he'd sold them so when I saw this, his were a darker wood, his were um, like a teak when I when I saw these I grabbed them thinking oh no Josh has sold them. it turns out he's still got his so maybe it wasn't a brilliant brilliant one after all but it is a large salad bowl with four smaller salad dishes I suppose they don't all fit in there that's annoying I'm not sure what the wood is I mean it, it looks like pine but would you do you make salad bowls out of pine or is it likely to be some other pet maybe it's beech if you know about wood let me know I might send a message to Tom Tom knows all about wood Tom the English picker he's our woodman yeah, I might send him a pic. I'll do that now. If you don't know stuff, it helps if you know people who do know stuff. I paid £2 for these... Actually, was it... I, I, I seem to have a bit of a mental block. I think these might have been a pound. They were either a pound or £2. They are white stuff, wool gloves. They are... Um, they're from the Autumn Winter 2010 collection. So they've been around a while but they are new with tags so they are new old stock as such and again I think I should be able to get 10 to 12 pounds for those I've just sent that picture to our group chat and Darren's come back with round wood thank you Darren you've been fantastic couldn't have done this without you three pounds for these two items so this is a teddy Betty bear it's so funny I had that teddy Betty bear boxed vintage toy a couple of weeks ago and I didn't and want something I'd heard of and then this popped up and then when I say popped up it's a teddy Betty bear jack-in-the-box so vintage 70s I would say Fisher Price I'll do a little bit of research and see if I can ascertain the date before I list it but that was three pounds with this Annie Magic dog um I because I've done so well with the fur real cat I thought I'd grab the Annie Magic dog but these don't seem to have anywhere near the same appeal as the fur real stuff does I might get 10 quid for if I'm, if I'm lucky but still it cost me £1.50 so it's not the end of the world is it this bag's full already so why don't buy large things Carla this was a nice little bargain for £2 this is the Roald Dahl 10 Fizz Whizzing audiobook set they're all in there I've checked them um I can't remember what these go for I know it's a lot more than two quid I think they might go for 25 so very pleased with that I paid £2, as you can see, because they are labelled up, for these Nicky Clark Flexi Stylers. They are bendy, bendy curling curlers, curling curl, curly curler curlers. They're bendy curlers <laughs> um, and they have a light up mirror on the front and everything. I need to plug it in and make sure it works before I try and list it, obviously. If it needs to clean up, it's a bit dusty as well. But £2 for those, that should be a nice 15 to 20 I think little disclaimer some of these prices I'm guesstimating because some of it I've looked up and some of it I haven't I was excited when I found this because I didn't even know that Port Merion did clothing it is an apron I say clothing I suppose it's kitchenware isn't it it's an apron um however there doesn't seem to be as much resell as I thought in it it was two pounds and I probably might get seven to ten if I'm lucky so that wasn't the excitement that I thought it would be. £1.50 for a little bundle of vintage Christmas napkins. I sold a similar bundle not long ago. I think mine had more in. There's six of this traditional festive design. And then there are two that just have a little bow in the corner and a red edging. And then these are vintage tray cloths. Look at these. These have been hand embroidered 
hand embroidered vintage tray cloths a little bit of staining on one of them i've just noticed but then they are i would say at least 50 years old so you would expect them to have some staining wouldn't you after all i'm nearly 50 years old and look at the state i'm in two pounds for these marks and spencer duvet sets they've got a really nice beach scene on them there's only one pillowcase there's two single duvet covers but only one pillowcase between the two which is disappointing but not the end of the world I paid a pound for this Villaway and Bosch. No, I didn't. I paid 50p for this Villaway and Bosch mug. Um, again, a very easy list because I already have one listed, so I'll just up the quantity on that listing to two. I won't even put that away. I'll put it there to remind me to do that. Also, Villaway and Bosch, and from the same seller, these are four of the New Wave Cafe saucers. Sadly, they did not have the cups. This was a disappointment. They are a little bit scratched, but I got actually that one I think is cracked I've got one that's got a surface crack it's only a surface crack but even so anyway I got all four for a pound I'd sell them as spares there's going to be more than a quid in them I paid 50p just as we were leaving the car boot so I spotted this on the table and paid 50p for it it's a German um, Jasper Jasper is it which is German for Jasper uh, pottery vase. Sorry, it's got a sticker on the back. I'm just trying to get the sticker off. There we go. And that was 50p, and that should go for a healthy 15, maybe 20, I hope. More Villaroy and Bosch. It was very Villaroy. I always say Villaroy and Bosch, and I think it's supposed to be Bock. So if you're German and I'm mispronouncing, I do apologise. But more of it, these are the red wine goblets, crystal red wine goblets, and I've got them in green, blue, and red. I paid two pounds each. The lady was not for shifting on this. I said to her, would you do three for a fiver? I started off, would you do them a pound each? No. Would you do three for a fiver? No. I said, that's only a pound. I, I tried my best. I haggled as hard as I could, but she was not shifting. So I paid two pounds each. That's not the end of the world. I think I can get a tenner each on them. So that is okay. Well, they're called Boston. So that's also handy that they have their... um their design name on them a pound for this set of table mats and coasters the only reason she asked for a pound was because two of the coasters are missing but i will probably sell them separately i'll probably sell a set of four coasters and a set of six table mats i know that i recognize this artist and i can't think what the what the what the artist is called there's no artist signature on there but i know i recognize them if anybody knows that artist please let me know because i've been racking my brains the coasters have been more used than the table mats which is often the way but yeah they were a pound so i paid a pound for a rubik's race game i'd never seen rubik's race before all the pieces are there but there are no instructions however the instructions are available online in the days when i had a ordinary printer a standard laser printer i would print out the instructions online and include them but i don't have a printer anymore so i what i will do in my listing is i'll put a link to the um I don't know if we're allowed to put links at the moment. Having said that, we used to be able to add links, and maybe you're not allowed to anymore. If we're not allowed to add links, I will just put in the listing that the instructions are available online. If we are allowed to have a link, I'll add a link. But yes, yeah, so that was a pound. And also a pound from the same seller was this lattice board game. I've never seen this one either. It's similar in in look to Scrabble, only it's not letters. So this one does have all of the bits and the instructions. So there's your board game. And I've got yeah, instructions and all the all the pieces and everything. So so yeah, that's um that's in nice condition. And yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen that one before at all. Never heard of that one. I paid two pounds for the Vicar of Dibley complete collection. Um the prices have dropped on these. You used to be able to get nearly fifty quid from at one point, but the prices have gone considerably downhill. But even so, still worth it for two quid. £2.50 for six, that's not my. I've got Piglet, Monkey, Fairy, Lion, Flamingo and Snowman. And I think there's one over here waiting to go into a bundle. It might be in the death pile somewhere. So, but I mean, they're enough for a bundle on their own. So she wanted 50p each and I said, well, would she do six for 2 dollars She said, oh, no, I couldn't do that though. And I said, well, it's only 50p off. And she went, is it? And I said, well, yeah, six 50p is a £3 and I'm offering you £2.50. She went, oh, well, I suppose so. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Somebody was not having a maths day. To be fair, I guess it's, you know, eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. Some people's maths head doesn't get up that early, does it? I paid two pounds for this sewing box. This is for me, for myself. It needs 
the fastener needs stitching back on and I put some stuff in it and carried around the boot cell and thanks to that the bottom has started to drop so I need to tack the bottom back on but apart from that it's in nice condition um, so yeah that's that's mine I'm going to put that back there because I've got a space for it and then the last little bit here is fill a bag Josh and I actually did fill a bag between us this week because neither of us wanted very much so in my filler bag I have a paper chase organiser I have a pair of little kickers, look at those. <laughs> I mean, I don't want children at 48 and there's no sign of any grandchildren anytime soon, but tiny kickers, still cute. A Martin Gulliver Designs polka dot um, storage canister. I love polka dot stuff, I really do. Two little calf Kidston children's beakers, but no lids, so nah. This puzzle is called word spin and it's by geospaces seven geospace word spin and i'm gonna have to look for instructions for this as well because i've no idea how it works all of these bits come apart so i can see how it operates so you can swap them around and make different words but i don't know what the rules are for how you operate the puzzle how you actually play the game i popped into my filler bag this little viking game however there are about seven bits missing and no instructions and no maps so this was not a find however i may list the pieces as spares so there's tiny little vikings They're a bit they look a bit like chess. it looks a bit like a chess game but there should be a rolled up mat that goes in there and that's the board for board play and there should be about seven more of the little brown pieces so yeah it was not it was not a win that one but like i said it might be worth selling for spares Josh found this in filler bag for me. It is a Kath Kidston truckers and tractors, or what it was called, diggers and tractors, truckers, diggers, tractors, diggers, trucks, tractors, cars. <laughs> it's a tin. I've sold these before. They're not massive sellers, but um, they are discontinued, so that makes them a little bit more popular. And then finally, a Tractor Ted lunch bag with some boxes inside, although there's one lid missing of the large ones. So I will probably just discard that one and just sell it with the smaller ones inside. They would have been a set of three, they're now a set of two. That's everything. That is the haul and all of the haul. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any knowledge on anything that I don't, please do let me know in the comments. Always, always uh, grateful for your help and advice. Like I said, it's nice to know people who know stuff. And I'm going to pop this stuff into the death pile and then maybe list some of it ASAP, eh? Especially anything that could be good for a Christmas present. Take care. Bye for now.